first assignment for Drawing and Composition Art 1030 is to uh, hone your skills in creating value, that is lightness and darkness, with a graphite pencil. This is a pretty traditional assignment, uh, pretty technical, uh, not very creative, so bear with me on this one. Uh, but one of the skills that you need to develop in order to draw well, to be versatile with the graphite pencil, or with any medium, is to hone your technical skills. What this assignment involves is creating a nine-point value scale. If you do a Google search for value scales, you'll discover uh, quite a range, uh, nine point, ten point. There are reasons for a nine-point value scale uh, because you have number nine is white, number one is black. In between, you have the intrinsic values of all the primary and secondary colors on the color wheel. When you take uh, the foundations course in design, uh, Art 1600, or actually the follow-up to that, course that we sometimes refer to as color theory, uh, you'll do uh, quite a bit of work with the value scale and the intrinsic value of colors. For now, just take my word for it, you need to make this value scale with nine values that include white and black. So what, here's your assignment. These are all going to look, hopefully, exactly the same when you're finished. So this is not a creative assignment. Uh, this value scale has squares that are one and a half inch in size and there's a quarter inch spacing in between. The reasons for that spacing and for that size much smaller and you aren't going to have enough space to really develop your skills in creating value, pure value with no texture. Uh, and if they're much larger it becomes busy work. Just having to fill in such a large area. So this is a good size to work with. So you're going to draw very lightly initially these nine squares and so when you're finished you will have no pencil line outline around them. Now I have left, in fact I have actually darkened the pencil line around number nine white simply so the camera will be able to see the square. So that's your job. Create those squares and then fill them in with gradations and value. And that's the easy part. The hard part is doing this with no jumps in value. So how do you determine if there are value jumps? Well, the way to do that is to hold the thing up and squint your eyes and look at it through squinted eyes. And if you have a big jump between value 8 and value 7, it will show up. Or if you have a big jump down here between two, uh, or between uh, three and two, uh, then that jump will show up. Uh, this student uh, I had in class a couple of summers ago, Darlene is her American name, Chalin Wan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, very technical, very good technical skills. So hers is the example I'm using. I'm going to hold this up. Hopefully you can get a little better view of it. Uh, one might argue that there are value jumps, but they're pretty hard to pick out uh, if there are. And so technically this is a good example. The other thing you'll notice about this is there are no visible pencil marks. You're not going to be hatching. You're not going to be scribbling in. I, we, you want to do this with invisible pencil marks. And so that is the assignment. And uh, we don't spend much time on this. You'll want to jump in and start it right away. And so uh, enjoy. And have a good time with it.